Hi guys, this is your boy Martin and today welcome to our short videos on Tuesday. Uh, of course I'm rebuilding this uh, Canon Spider F3 limited special series for our two render rental agency and one of the things that we'll get rid of is this ugly looking antenna. So in today's video what you will find out is uh, how I will do it because it's a uh, not very nice job towards this old antenna. Uh, I will tell you if there is a stronger signal or not really with this short spiral antenna that we have, by the way, on martinthevlogger.com slash shop. And, and last, you will be able to compare how it looks on your bike. Nah, just get rid of this. Now, guys, first 500 views, no video ads. And enough of this. Let's get started. Now, also, I, um, I forgot to mention, many people are using covers and this antenna is not really a big help in case you are using cover. So uh, it's not really my case uh, because we're gonna have a flag pole. So, uh, but anyway, now uh, this is the reason why I'm telling you we're not gonna do it a nice way towards the old antenna. Why I will cut this rubber part? It's simply because there is, there is no way. There is a way in case you are lucky you can try to unscrew it, but anti-clockwise it will not work. The antenna will rotate, but you will not do anything uh, because there are, you will see, there are two bolts. Uh, doing it clockwise may help to actually catch the movement and then you are able to undo it. I was not able to do it even once so far, so um, let's do it this way. Basically, why, why you're not able to do anything with, uh, with antenna and with your hand only, it's because there is the spring and you're simply rotating the spring itself, not really the, the bolt. So take this and do anti-clockwise and you will get rid of it. Now with our new antenna, I will just use tiny bit of Loctite, not much, I'm not really a Loctite dude, uh, it's up to you. Put the bolt in. Wipe the remaining Loctite in case you are dummy like me. And put it on the bike. This is pretty much it about the antenna. Uh, this video will probably help someone uh, who was not having balls <laughs> to cut the, the bloody antenna, the old one. Uh, the question many of you have that, uh, is it stronger antenna, stronger signal, or it, does it provide equal signal? Is it, is it weaker? Uh, I'll put it to you this way. Definitely it's looking, it's looking much better and it's shorter. In terms of the signal, it's not weaker. However, I don't want to tell you that it's stronger than a stock one. Uh, we have tested it, the very same antenna on RT20+. Plus. I did the installation video on that. And we took it to the welly when there is no FM signal. This will start, sound stupid, but... And we have found an FM signal with this one and we were not able to get a radio on this one. So uh, maybe it was a coincidence, maybe we were just, just different weather or whatever, I don't know. But with this one, we were able to get the signal. So that's why I told you, like, if there is no signal, like, you got it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, in case you like these short videos, keep up following me, like, subscribe, notifications. Visit martinthevlogger.com, the largest vlog about Canem on road vehicles in the world, period. And tourism3.com the coolest one rental agency. If you like to ride Europe on three wheels, tourism3.com and I can be your tour guy. Now guys, remember, uh, change the antenna or not, it's your call, but always have fun. Oh, just do it. The stock one is terrible. <laughs>